Hey everyone, I hope you're having an excellent day. So I decided to do this video because I've had actually a lot of inquiry. So I'm going to talk about Suboxone and extractions and dentures. So it's no secret that I am a Suboxone user or recipient. I've been on it for six years now. I am part of a national program that has studied the use of Suboxone for a very long time. Now, I never did hard drugs, but a work injury got me addicted to pain pills. Now, I'm an anomaly within the clinics that I go to, which is a highly renowned research hospital. This isn't a little tiny neighborhood clinic. This is one of the top research hospitals in the nation. I am an anomaly because they don't know how I'm still alive with the amount of opiates I was consuming on a daily basis to keep my withdrawals away. It's a lot. But being on Suboxone, it really scared me that I wouldn't be able to handle the pain of extractions. So that was one of the things, I had many, but it was one of the things that held me back for so long. So I was afraid of the pain because I wouldn't be able to take an opiate to help. So when it when I finally realized that it was time to take this, this, you know, this bull by the horns and take the process on, I talked to my doctor about it and they actually did switch me to an opiate for a few days, um, which is very possible. If you are a Suboxone user, just talk to your doctor and you can actually switch for a couple days if it's safe for you. Ask about it. It can happen. So I took an opiate for a few days and it worked great for me and then I switched back to my Suboxone all within a day. It's not a super long process. It's not uncomfortable. It's not painful or anything like that but it will get you through that first couple days. So it is possible to switch. You just need to talk to your doctor about it. Your Suboxone doctor. You need to make sure all of that is handled with, with, by one person, one doctor. Now, pain and Suboxone. Suboxone is not like methadone. It's totally different. Suboxone basically covers the opiate receptors and tricks them into thinking that there isn't, that they're getting the substance that they need. It's a synthetic opiate. It doesn't make you high. It doesn't have any side effects, except for it just tastes gross. Um, we can't abuse it. So, if you want to do this, it is a possibility. You can switch. But if you're on a lower maintenance dose and you are having pain or you are going to get dentures or have multiple extractions, they can up your dose to help with the pain. So it, it can help with pain. Now, they up my dose every once in a while due to uh, bursitis in my hips. Um, and it helps. It really does. It can help with extreme pain. So just talk to your Suboxone doctor about it if you're on Suboxone. Don't let Suboxone hold you back from getting dentures because it's not that big of a jump. It really isn't. I was very frightened with it. I thought that there was no way that I would be able to handle the pain on Suboxone. Um, but they ended up switching me. But I know that the dosing can be increased um, up to a certain amount a day because it caps out after a certain amount, 32 milligrams a day, it, it becomes non-effective. So you can only go up so high before it just doesn't do any good. But if you're say on eight milligrams a day and you're gonna go through this process, they could bump you up to 32 and it would really help with your pain. So just know that it's not out of the question. I've had a lot of people ask about Suboxone. I've met a lot of Suboxone users here. It's crazy. It does save lives. It is not like methadone. You cannot abuse it. You don't get high from it. It just makes you normal. I have had incredible success with it. My genetic testing showed that I, had, I was 89% susceptible to addiction through my family. It's been passed down through my family from generation to generation. 
and I've lost half of my fam my extended family to addiction related deaths. And I'm sure I will lose my brothers to it too. I'm the only female um, out of my parents' children. And I'm the only one that's been able to stay away from addiction. But Suboxone did save my life. And I am forever grateful for that. I will be on maintenance for the rest of my life. And that's okay. Because it saved my life. So if you are a Suboxone user and it's kind of holding you back, just remember that Suboxone can help with pain. Uh, you can get off of it for the extraction process and be put right back on it. Um, and that can all happen within a day or two. But you have to remember that it has to kind of flush out of your system for the opiates to start working. And so let's just say if your extractions are on a Friday, the week, that week leading up to Friday, you would have to stop taking your Suboxone on Tuesday or Wednesday and switch over to your opiate. And then let it kick in until Friday. And then when it was time to switch back, you need to make sure that you don't have any of those opiates in your system or else you'll go into a withdrawal. It has the opposite effect. Then you take the Suboxone. So what you would have to do is Stop taking the opiate for 12 to 18 hours and then take your Suboxone. Um, because if the Suboxone gets on top of the receptors and there's still opiates there, it'll have an adverse effect and cause you to go into a serious withdrawal. So you don't want that to happen. But it is doable, guys. Don't let it scare you. Don't let it, don't let it intimidate you. If you know that you're going to be getting dentures and you're afraid, because you're a Suboxone user that you're not going to be able to handle the pain or anything else like that. It is possible. Suboxone is an amazing drug and some people disagree with it. Some people think that it's trading one addiction for another. But I'll tell you right now, the amount of opiates that I took during my addiction phase, it forever changed my body chemistry, my brain chemistry. It will never be the same. So if I don't have Suboxone, my brain just doesn't function the same. Believe me, I've tried. It's just not the same anymore. So I'm a firm believer that this is a really good trade-off. You know, it, it works for me. And I'm really happy with the quality of life that I have now with it. You know, I didn't purposely go out and shoot up heroin or anything like that. I got hurt at work and that led to a very unpleasant five years of my life. Now, it's not my place to judge anyone, even if you do shoot up heroin. Whatever led you there. But Suboxone is out there and it is a really great opportunity for people. It, it really does have good qualities. I know that it definitely has saved my life and it will. I will be on it for the rest of my life. And I'm okay with that. I see my doctor every three months and it's perfect. My life is normal, a very normal, normal life. I don't have to, you know, worry about anything. I have my buffers, I'm, I'm good to go. But if you're worried about having Suboxone, getting dentures and things like that, just know that it is possible. It can help you with your pain. I upped my dose during the following week after my uh, extractions and it really helps with just the minor discomfort and things like that. So there's really not a ton to worry about with that. So if you are worried about it, just know that it there are alternatives with it. There are ways to handle it and don't let it hold you back because if you are on it, you are already doing an amazing thing for yourself. The next thing you can do is to follow through with the process of dentures if you need them and start that better quality of life. So don't let Suboxone intimidate you. It's, it's not a bad thing. Uh, you know, it's, it's scary to some people because they think methadone and it's, it's nothing like methadone. It's not. 
So um, I'd be more than happy to answer any Suboxone questions. I know that I've talked to a few people about it already, but if you have been offered it, it is great um, with helping with minor discomfort and pain and even moderate discomfort and pain. It is, it, it can be very, very successful. So um, just make sure you have a good Suboxone doctor. That's really important. Um, over the last year, I know that there's been a ton of funding for the program and getting it out to places that really, really, really need it. So I'm really thinking about starting a Suboxone group online. Um, we'll see what happens, but I've been on it for so long that I feel like I have a lot of knowledge regarding Suboxone, its purpose, uh, all the different levels of it. I've been on different types of it and I know the different types that they're about to come out with um, Which is pretty cool. They're coming out with a 30-day implant, which is kind of neat So the thing with that though is that if you have an emergency and you need to get off of it I gotta take the implant out That's why I never wanted the shot <laughs> so Anyway, I really hope this helps the people who are really worried about it. Um, don't be scared of it. Really, don't. It's a great, it's a great thing. And I know that for me, I managed to get through my extractions as a Suboxone user, and it went great. So don't let it hold you back. Um, if you're on it, you've already saved your life, and it's really manageable. It really, really is, so don't be afraid of it. I really didn't have a ton of pain uh, when I had all of my teeth extracted, 26. Um, a lot of them were broken off at the gum line, but uh, the mixture between the opiates that I was on for a couple days and the Suboxone got me through it, no problem. So there's some ibuprofen on top of all of that, and it was good to go. So I hope you guys have a really great day, and I hope that helped answer some questions from you guys. Um, I know I've been talking to a few of you about it for a while, and uh, I just wanted to put it out there that if you are a Suboxone user, don't let it scare you from this process. It really can help you in it. So love you guys. Have a great day.